<laughs> didn't bring any spare change, by the way. Sorry about that. Well, fuck off then. <laughs> sexuality that might not be appropriate in a children's movie but who's gonna catch me at it oh my hello everyone welcome to the channel it's lewis p here today what we're going to be talking about is the hans zimmer masterclass review this will be a reflections video because as you probably know if you're a subscriber of this channel three or four years ago at this point in time i released my first hans zimmer masterclass review when i was sort of an infant in this youtube world now things have changed as well as this channel has grown to over 1.8 million views which i'm really thankful for so thank you very much if you want to join the community and you like that introduction of the video please give this video a like and if you want subscribe that's cool as well we're going to try and figure out is the hands of a masterclass worth it for you we're going to log into the class itself as though you just invested in it and try and figure out is it worth it for you from multiple angles from both an entertainment perspective if you like all his movies the dark knight sherlock holmes pirates of the caribbean or from a musician's perspective as well as a pricing perspective so we're going to look at all of those factors and then look at the experience that i've had over four years and then really try and give you a complete masterclass review for you and as always there's a link in the description which you can get the masterclass for an unknown amount at this point in time masterclass is always changing one the price Pricing and the landing page based on the region that you're in almost on a weekly basis. So it's probably completely different for someone like in America or Australia or the UK or Canada, wherever you are, these prices will be very different. So let me know in the comments below what price you see as well as the region. And if you're in America, let me know what state you're in because I'm really curious to know whether or not they're charging based on the state. That'll be super interesting if like they're charging more in New York and like charging less in Texas. And Aaron Franklin probably wouldn't like that to be fair with you. But hey, let's jump into it. If you want to jump right into the masterclass review, my cursor is highlighting over the exact timestamp that you want to go directly to. Do not pass go, go directly to this timestamp if you want the masterclass review. For now, what I really want to do is teach everyone what exactly is masterclass and how it works. Because a lot of you guys are actually brand new here and they don't even know what masterclass is. So let's jump into the overview of masterclass right now. So the way masterclass works is pretty simple right now because they're trialing out the removal of the single masterclass. What they're really trying to do is go down the Netflix route. What does that mean? It means they're going for that subscription type of base model whereby you get access to everything they provide, which is great, which means you get access to the Armin Van Buren. You get access to Steve Martin, Hans Zimmer, obviously. You get access to all of the musicians, all of the culinary arts, Gordon Ramsay's, the Thomas Kellers. You get access to everything by investing in the all access masterclass, which is pretty cool, but some people may only want want a single class. I don't know if they'll bring that back. They may bring it back in the future, but ultimately I have the all access masterclass and I think it's pretty good for what it is. I generally get this question a lot. What devices does masterclass work on? And the reality is if it has one an internet connection and it has a screen, it probably works on that device. So that includes your TV, your computer, pretty much everything at this point in time. There's even a masterclass app, which is unbelievably good. I personally use now masterclass when I go to bed. Surprisingly, Chris Voss's masterclass really puts you to bed if you want that. And I'm going to have that review on the top right of that screen right now if you want to see that. But Chris Voss's Masterclass is perfect to put you to sleep. Masterclass is now a subscription-based model. This may change by the time you're watching this video. So let me know if it is a subscription-based model, which is interesting. So a lot of frequently asked questions we get on the channel right now, which I'm totally cool with, by the way, is how much does Masterclass cost? It's based on the region you're in. And obviously they ask you how many lessons are there. There's 80 plus at this point in time, to be fair. So there's 80 plus actual lessons, which is awesome. The other thing is that they release a masterclass every month or even two a month, I think that's actually going to go up because masterclass just received a hundred million dollars in investment. So you're going to see some really big players. It wouldn't surprise me if like Jeff Bezos end up coming in on this. So that'll be very interesting if that happens. We've answered what is included, which is everything. Where can I watch it? Anything with a screen and an internet connection. A big question is what classes are right for me? Honestly, you have 80 plus to choose from. It depends on the type of thing you want to learn. So if you want to learn lifestyle, if you want to learn interior design, make up beauty that's the thing if you want to learn filmmaking directing i mean ron howard's on here martin scorsese is on here samuel L. jackson is on here natalie portman which i will also have on the top right coming up on your screen right now is on here so these are impactful a players in this world so that's enough of the little overview let's jump into the masterclass right now 
So this is exactly what you see once you invest and you log into the masterclass. Now I'm going to take you through it and show you what it's all about. First and foremost, there is a search function up the top right. Of course, that just means if you want to look up something like cooking or something like that or acting, you can go and search that. That's fine. You can pick business, politics, film, TV, and you can obviously see all the film people in here, which is pretty cool. You have David Lynch, you have Natalie Portman, you have Ron Howard, very big player, by the way. And the goal here is just to make that life easier if you have all access. And then you have the community. Now, in my opinion, the community features in this masterclass all access is the most valuable piece of everything. It's more valuable than even the hands of a masterclass because it gives you exposure to other like-minded people in your community that are doing the same thing that you want to do. So for example, let's say you go into the hands of a masterclass and you're doing it. You're going to see other students in the masterclass itself learning and building music together. I've made over a hundred connections in here in the last four years. And these are important connections, not just random people that you would find on the internet, but people that are actively doing what I love doing, which is of course creating music in my free time. So the way the community works is very simple. There is the Hans Zimmer community in isolation. Then there is actually the overarching masterclass community. Now, what does that mean? It means that there are contests, there are student highlights from students across the entire masterclass community. Now, when it comes to contests, there are pretty cool prizes, giveaways and things like that, which is fun and adds a lot of value to this whole piece that is masterclass. And I don't know if it's open to just the single masterclass people. I think it's open to only the all access masterclass people. But either way, community is pretty cool. Quick list, completely irrelevant. You don't even need that. My classes. Now I believe I have a legacy account. So obviously if I have the all access masterclass, my classes is all the classes, if you will. If you have a new account, you're probably not going to see my classes because you're probably going to have all access. Now, if you go click into profile, there's only two relevant things in here. There are gifts. So you can give this for, you know, Christmas, birthdays, and then of course the articles. Now the articles are, if you prefer reading, that's an amazing source of information for you because it supplements the information that you get in the actual masterclass. So let's jump into the resource now. So let's move down a bit further. And once you get the masterclass, you're going to see the download workbook button. Now the workbook is very, very difficult to download. You need to click it and then you need to press that button. <laughs> and there you go. Now I want to be really respectful for those that have actually invested in the hands of a masterclass. So I'm only going to show you the first two pages, of course, very high quality stuff. And they're always reiterating and updating where there needs to be updates. So in this case, as you can see, you have the or hands of a masterclass class, you have a bit of an introduction, you can pause the video right now and read that if you want. That's fine with me. Actually, I'm going to give you the other introduction. Let me give you a bit more value here because that's not enough. Everyone knows who Hans Zimmer is. If you want to pause the video, go for it. It's all yours. But hold on, there are 55 pages. I just want to be really respectful for those that invest. So there's the first three pages, which is basically page one and page two here to be fair with you. Either way, pause the video and read it if you want. Let's go back into the masterclass for right now. Now it's time to jump into the lesson plan. Now, of course, go and grab a coffee. This is going to be a long video. There are 31 lessons in this. Now all the ticks indicate you that you've done it. So it's great because now it's like, okay, I've watched this video. I don't need to watch it again, but you will to be fair with you. I've watched this like three times so far to be fair, because it's not just entertaining. It's there's a lot of value in this as well. So let's jump into the masterclass. Now the first lesson is all about introduction to that like button. Make sure you smash that like button before we continue. <laughs> Either way, the first lesson is the introduction. So to Hans Zimmer. So who exactly is the person? 150 plus films. We all know that very simple lesson, nothing crazy. Now, what I really want to take into account here is something really insane. So check this out. You remember how I was talking about the community? Now watch this for a second. Because this masterclass has been out for since the dawn of time, as far as I'm concerned, it's one of the first masterclasses masterclass ever produced. There is the video lesson here, which of course the introduction goes for three minutes and 32 seconds, which is the introduction to Hans Zimmer himself. And then if we look down, there are 20,000 comments on the first video alone. So when I say that this is a reflections video, it very much indeed is a reflections video and a review of the masterclass. Now you can see the community is no joke here. 20,300 comments in the first video alone, and it goes for three minutes and 32 seconds. Wonderful introduction. Thanks, very excited with this masterclass. Hans music is amazing. I love that he said that he wants to show us what he does, and then I'm not gonna go into that. You know what, I could, but I'm not going to. If you wanna get the masterclass, click that link in the description and have fun with that and get access to the community. Lesson two is all about themes now. Let's jump right into it. So Hans Zimmer has created some of the most memorable films in film. I would argue that my start of this masterclass review was pretty good. Like I like that music a lot. Hans Zimmer taught me a lot on how to really differentiate and how to create impact with not a lot of technicalities and complications. And if you hear all of his music, like for example, the Batman theme, you will hear that's only two notes when you think about it. Mine was only one note at the start of this. So very powerful how you can leverage one amazing type of 
note or key, if you will. So Hans has created some of the most memorable themes in film. Learn how he creates a theme and learn how simplicity is the best tool to maintain a theme. You can see that by the start of my video. Lesson three is all about story. Now, so how does that theme relate to the story? Discover how Hans approaches writing to the story and his number one rule for all composers. This video goes for 10 minutes and it, and it involves approaching the story, how you need to really look into it and dive into it and, put, and get emotionally invested into the story, as well as just learning it and how to do that, especially for someone like Hans Zimmer, who is ESL, otherwise known as English as a Second Language. Now, lesson four, five, and six are all about working with directors. And there's over 25 minutes on just learning how to interact with directors. The first one is how you work with directors, including what needs to be learned from the director in order to start writing, is how to converse with directors and what you need to discuss with them. Very powerful if you are getting into the world of music scores, but also it's really good if you're just curious as how that dynamic works. How does Hans Zimmer converse, communicate with some of the most top directors on the planet right now, which is cool. And also what's really nice about this, I can just see it already, is the community is actually answering people's questions, which is even more valuable. So in this case, I would recommend FL Studio. That is otherwise known as a door, a way that you create music. And the community is talking about these systems, which is again, the value of the masterclass. It, it is more than just these videos and these lectures and the workbook. It's also the community guys. So I'm, I'm really pushing that because it's true. And then of course, part three, once you've learned how to speak to them, once you know how to approach directors, then it's all about making a relationship with them. So they call you back for more movies. So what does that mean when you're developing that relationship? There's a reason why he has 150 plus movies behind his back and that beautiful house that he has. It's because of the approach he used in lesson four, five, and six. Then lesson seven talks about sound palettes. Now, what's really interesting about this is all of these top level masters in these master classes talking about certain feelings and palettes and getting a taste for things. For example, in the Wolfgang Puck master class, who is an absolute monster chef, he talks about your taste palettes. And in this case, you have Hans Zimmer talking about your sound palette, which is amazing. So Hans is known for creating unique sound palettes. Learn how and why he does it and how to do it on your own. As you can see at the start of this video, I have a certain palette there. There was a certain taste of music, which is actually very similar to Hans. However, the difference between Hans and myself, of course, Hans is a, like above and beyond me in multiple ways. I like the faster beats. However, he likes the long drawn out strings and all those things. And over time, over the last four years of creating music, you end up developing that palette and what you like and ultimately, you know, what viewers like. And what's cool about this is four years later, as a reflection, I'm continuing to build that palette for myself. Very similar starter off as copying Hans Zimmer, then really deviating and, you know, going down my own path of sound, which I think is really cool. Lesson eight is all about creating with synths. Now, of course, using real instruments, otherwise like analog instruments are infinitely better than digital just because of the control. However, he talks about how you can utilize synths to really create a track, then give it to the orchestra to take care of, you know, the, the emotional expression. So Hans is known for using his synths. Hans discusses how to use synths and he also creates a track for you. So building sounds, Hans start a patch, which he'll go into detail. There's a reason this is 21 minutes, this specific video. And of course the expression that goes along with those synths. Lesson nine is about scoring the picture. Hans discusses how to score to different types of scenes as well as reorganizing when a scene doesn't need a score at all. Sometimes silence is golden. Lesson 10 is all about scoring under dialogue. So you learn how he approaches the relationship between music and dialogue and how music can be a dialogue as well. Now there's actually a science behind using this and scoring under a dialogue, AKA music under words. So he talks about how you can coexist with dialogue and the perspective that you need to have in order to pull this off. Then there's tempo. As you can see, the start of my video is all about that tempo and that buildup. Your editor is your drummer. So learn how to recognize the tempo to a scene and edit it. Some of the topics that are included here are working with the editor. So how do you communicate with them? How do you decide on a tempo and a beat and a rhythm based on what you're watching and obviously the scene that you're creating for? Lesson 12 is beautiful because now there's an actual real world example of how he's doing it. Now, if you look at the scene here, you'll see that he's actually working in the file that he created Sherlock Holmes with, very powerful. Then there's the music diary. So if we look at it as though it's a package, you have lessons 11, 12, and 13, all talking about tempo and examples within a real world scenario in a very successful film, otherwise known as Sherlock Holmes. And then you learn about his diaries. He actually creates music diaries. So learn why he does it and how he does it as he walks you through the music diary that he created for an actual project in the real world, Sherlock Holmes. Very cool. Then 14 to 19 is all about character. Now all characters have themes. You have Batman, you have the Joker, you have Jack Sparrow, of course, Pirates of the Caribbean, Frost Nixon, the Dark Knight. So in lesson 14, you see characters. So learn how he learns about them in, in the first place, what makes them impactful, what makes them memorable, and then how he builds a relationship with them. So approaching the character and becoming and getting that personal relationship, the backstory, what's relating to them. And then he jumps right into real world examples. So it doesn't take too long. It's only eight minutes of learning your character, but, but so much 
much more in depth when it comes to relating this to the real world. So how we did it to Batman, how we did it to Joker, how we did it to Jack Sparrow, Frost Nixon, The Dark Knight. And that is a very, very powerful theme that's going on. So 14 to 19 when it comes to the character's case study. Insane, I love that. Probably one of the most powerful sections in the masterclass. Now lessons 20 to 22 is all about working with musicians. Now real world musicians, we're moving away from synths, we're moving away from characters. Now we're working with real life people. So learn how to find and write for the best musicians and instruments for your score. Hans Zimmer works with the best musicians on the planet. There is no doubt about that. They have, he has the biggest budget, he has the biggest directors behind him, and obviously he has the biggest film studios on his back to help him do this. He's working with the best musicians on the planet and you learn how he does it. So how to cast players, writing for musicians, specific musicians and their nuances within the industry, which is very interesting by the way, and writing for instruments themselves. So lessons 20 to 22, it's all about that component. You go into the orchestras, which are pretty fun indeed. Now lesson 23 is all about feedback and revisions. I've gone through a lot of feedback and revisions and I've actually communicated with a lot of people in the hands of a masterclass around my music and all of those things, which I think is really cool. So not every score is perfect on the first try. Learn how Hans asks for feedback on his scores and how he approaches rewrites when it's not quite working. So in this particular lesson, he talks about revising very early, getting early feedback, and of course, notes from the directors themselves, the people that are really directing this entire project. Once you have one getting feedback and then the early revisions and notes from directors, then you get the audience feedback. So this is all about audience testing, putting a movie out there for people to test and watch. Normally this is done in-house by the film studios themselves, but then they get public audiences to test and of course they sign documents saying we won't tell anyone about this movie yada 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 lessons 25 and 26 is all about writing and how to do it now these two lessons in particular go on for quite a bit of time in this case this goes for almost 17 minutes which is great Hans Zimmer gives you the tips and tricks he's learned over the years on how to approach writing music the writing process a lot of musicians actually don't have a process because they're creatives how to organize that process and then of course breaking the rules as you develop your skills and have the foundations in place which is what this masterclass gives you. And then the next part, which is really building off breaking the rules is really overcoming writer's block, understanding how budgets relate to that. And of course, applying your passion to this. And you can see from this comment already, well, this is a great routine to cultivate creativity. And it's true, there's a reason he's done 150 plus films. Now lesson 27 is very much a break video. We're moving away from theory and practical organizational skills, which is great. What you now learn is a bit more about himself, which is to be fair, probably should be at the start of the masterclass. But hey, I know in this masterclass, what they want to do is just put you right into the shoes and get you learning immediately. But in this lesson, you learn about why he fell in love with it, how he did, how he fell in love with storytelling and how he went from being a radio star to an actual film composer. So the learning, the storytelling, the balancing family and work and life. This is a very good, you know, one of the final lessons in this masterclass. Lesson 28 is all about learning while listening. So Han discusses the importance of learning how to listen and dissect music when it works and it doesn't work. So he talks about how he listens, not how to listen to be fair with you, and also who has influenced his core musical drive. And then he talks about life as a composer. Many artists, many musicians struggle in this world, understanding what backup plans are, having the courage to take risks. And this is a very, very powerful lesson for those that are musicians, probably not doing as well as they want to. This is like having a coffee with Hans Zimmer and telling him about your situation and having someone like Hans Zimmer talk to you in this manner is, I would argue, a hundred times more valuable than the entire All Access Masterclass. Just these two lessons alone lesson 29 and 30 insanely valuable in my opinion then lesson 31 which is of course the closing he summarizes the entire masterclass what you've learned and what he hopes you got out of it and ultimately you get the final thoughts of why he did this in the first place and it actually gets a bit emotional when you see him go because you've been with him for 31 lessons you've been with him for over six hours at this point in time and he's obviously taught you a lot so that is the masterclass review as always everyone there is a link in the description which you can take advantage of get it at a price that i don't really know what it is in your region in Australia, it's $23 a month. Tell me which region you're in and how much you see it for. So I'm actually very curious in that. Would I recommend the masterclass for the average person? Probably not to be fair with you. However, if you love his movies, you want the entertainment, absolutely get it. Now, if you're a musician, this is a no brainer to be fair with you. Any type of musician you are, whether you're in rock, whether you're in jazz, whether you're in orchestra, that's a given. You absolutely want to get the hands in the masterclass. No doubt about it. It's an instant investment immediately. There are probably even tax incentives by investing in this because it is educational relating to your job place. So you can even probably claim that. I know a few people that actually do because it's an education expense. So to summarize it, no, if you're just a general Joe and you don't really care about music, to be fair with you, absolutely not, do not get it. Yes, if you love his films and you want some entertainment and you want to understand how he's built it and his process, I 
I've always loved film scores, so this was a no-brainer for me. And 100%, if you are a musician of any sorts, you wanna learn from a master. Even if you think you learn all of these components, I'm sure there are gonna be nit bits in this masterclass that you're gonna get value from. Otherwise, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a like, make sure to subscribe. I'm going to have a Danny Elfman versus Hands of a Masterclass video coming up very soon. There's a link in the description. Otherwise, everyone, I'll see you in the next one. Lewis P, out.